11,000 years ago, a dog developed a cancer. But instead of dying when the dog died, this cancer took on a life on its own by spreading its cells to other dogs during mating. This cancer, known as canine transmissible venereal tumour, continues to spread to this day and causes genital tumours in dogs around the world. Occasionally, when the tumour cells come into contact with the dog's own cells, they swap some of their mitochondrial DNA. This DNA belongs to mitochondria, parts of the cell that act like its batteries, providing energy. We believe that mitochondrial DNA swapping has happened at least five times in the past 2,000 years. It gives tumours a unique genetic flag that means we can trace how the tumours we see today are related to each other and how they spread across the globe. If we think about all the tumours being related on a family tree, there are five main branches, each with its own mitochondrial DNA, which we call clades. The oldest and possibly most unusual clade arose between 2000 and 1000 years ago, probably in India, where it still persists. One of the most common clades most likely spread from Russia or China around 1000 years ago. It is now found across the globe, including Australia, Ecuador, Mexico and Ukraine. Another of the most common clades swapped its mitochondrial DNA more recently. We think it originated in West Africa and spread to other parts of Africa, to Brazil and the Caribbean, Southern Europe and India. Looking at how it is distributed, we believe that it may have been transported between continents via transatlantic and Indian Ocean trade routes. The most interesting tumour was in a dog in Nicaragua. Here we saw something that has never been seen before in cancers. In this dog's tumour, we found that the mitochondrial DNA from the dog and from the tumour had actually fused together rather than just swapping, creating mixed up DNA that contained segments from both tumour and dog. This process is known as recombination. We suspect that mitochondrial DNA recombination happens often in cancers, maybe even in human cancers. It might be an important process that is usually very difficult to detect. Transmissible cancers are very unusual. They only occur in dogs, clams and Tasmanian devils. What's incredible about the canine tumours is that their cells don't belong to the infected dog. Instead, they come from the original dog that lived 11,000 years ago. By tracing the journey of this remarkable cancer, we can learn about the historical travel routes of dogs and their owners. But this ancient cancer has revealed surprising discoveries that might even help us to better understand human cancer. Dear world, yours, Cambridge.